Good, happy Saturday morning. I'm Riley King, and welcome to the Riley King Newscast. Let's get started. First up, Manchester's Bishop Les Basque reacts to Pope's joy of love. Catholics around the world are reacting to a sweeping 256-page document from Pope Francis. Want to grow a garden this summer with the kids? The Children's Museum of New Hampshire will be hosting a free program for the whole family this year aimed to helping your, you start your own garden together. Nashua residents receive narcotic kits training at community meeting. Nashua and Harbor Care Health and Wellness Center hosted a narcotic training seminar during the community meeting at City Hall Friday night. Manchester Police investigating suspicious people posing as utility workers. Eversource and Manchester Police are working into reports of suspicious people going door to door asking to see electric bills. Two veteran Democratic leaders distribu distributed by O'Connor Shea Porter dispute. Two veteran leaders of New Hampshire Democrat are disrupted that the first district U.S. House primary between U.S. Rep. Carol Shea Porter and businessman Sean O'Connor has turned ugly. Director of VA Medical Center says she's committed to improvement. The new director of VA Medical Center in Manchester said that Changes are being made in wake of report that veterans have waited too long for services and some staff members manipulated the schedule to cover up the wait times. St. Gobin CO says company will work to resolve water contamination. The CEO of a company named in the investigation of water contamination problem in Merrimack and Litchfield said Friday that the company will do whatever it can to re-clarify the problem. Flyer on Candia Transgender Student Proposal Sparks Outrage. A flyer passed out in Candy about a proposed policy regarding transgender students is causing outrage over its message. Thieves from cars may be tied to gang, police say. Several police departments are warning people to lock their cars and keep their valuables with them. After recent thefts believed to be tied to a Fennelly Lang gang. Big crowds on hand for opening of Whole Foods. Big crowds greeted Friday's grand opening of a new Whole Foods market in Bedford. 2016 ski season ends on bright note in Boston. While it is pretty dismal ski season, 2015-2016 ended on a positive note. 
with a celebration of New Hampshire's first family of skiing. One killed in rural overcrash on Route 101 in Candia. The eastbound side of Route 101 was closed in Candia Friday morning after a rural overcrash. Ten ski areas open this weekend across New England. Went to return for a bit this week enough to give ten New England ski areas the lift they needed to stay open this weekend. O'Connor threatens defamation suit against Shea Porter for alleged abuser whispering campaign. The Democratic 1st District U.S. primary battle between former U.S. Rep. Carol Shea Porter and businessman Sean O'Connor ramped up in intensely Thursday as O'Connor said he is preparing to sue Shea Porter for defamation because her campaign team has engaged in whispering campaign accusing him of being a domestic abuser. Man charged with sex assault in Laconia flees the U.S., prosecutors say. A 24-year-old Romania man charged with sexually assaulting is not in the U.S., according to the city prosecutor. Feds detail sex abuse allegations against Hester. Federal prosecutors revealed explicit new details Friday about how former House Speaker Dennis Hester alleged allegedly sexual abuse abused teenager boys when he was a high school teacher and wrestling coach more than three decades ago. After Iraq, Kerry confronts similar problems in Afghanistan. U.S. Secretary of State John Kerry arrived in Afghanistan Saturday, hoping to promote cooperative form a would-be unit government he helped create less than two years ago, but which has provided l largely incapable of governing. Following his trip to Iraq, it is the top American diplomat's second unannounced trip in as many days to a country the United States just can't seem to stabilize. And that does it for the Riley King newscast right here on the Riley King Network. I hope you all have a great rest of your Saturday. See you back here later on. Goodbye.